Good afternoon. My name is Florin, and I'm a recent graduate of Kodiri Bootcamp. And for the past couple of months, I'm on the quest to explore React in more ways uh, possible in order to be a better developer and learn every day about it. After a veteran speaker in React, RT from Simply Business, I'd like you to introduce you to a couple of concepts and examples about React portals. So React Portals was first introduced in React version 16 uh, that was released in September 2017. A portal pretty much it's a way to render an element outside of its component hierarchy in a separate one. When the uh, event is rendered, events happening on it are managed by the React components hierarchy rather than by the hierarchy set by the DOM positioning of the element, hence the name a portal, an element who sits somewhere in the DOM tree that's outside of the normal React Components tree. But the React Components tree that includes it is still in charge. React offers an easy API to do this uh, called React DOM Create Portal, which accepts pretty much two arguments, the first one being the element to be rendered, and the second one being the DOM element where exactly it's going to be introduced or rendered. Classic use for this one is Model Windows. That's going to be one that we're going to cover today. We're going to see further down the line another one that is uh, as important as well. A model to render at full screen must live outside of the element, so it can be properly styled using CSS. In the following example, I'm going to show a model who is defined, by, uh, defined as a component. After we saw how we can define a model component, we can see how an app component can render that model and all the events happening in the model component will be handled by the app, even though technically the model is rendered in a different DOM tree. For example, we're gonna see how we can build a model in Re with React Portal. For the moment, we're gonna disregard the HTML and the CSS. And we're going to use just uh, J JavaScript to build the um, two components, model and app. We're going to start with the class model, who extends React component. OK. And we're going to define it constructor. And we're going to pass the properties. OK. Next, we're going to use the adjective this in order to bind everything together. And we're going to pretty much create using the create element to create a component called div. And we're going to define in the same time the moments that is going to go on and off. And when the component is going to be unmounted.
Okay. Next, after we defined when the how the component will be mounted or unmounted, we're going to need to define how it's rendered. In this case, we're going to return the into React DOM. where we're creating pretty much a portal and with adjective this we're gonna pass the properties from the children to the element in the DOM tree I save this pen for the moment and we don't have anything for the moment to show for but let's define lower the root element that is gonna render it and that's gonna be the app component let's define the app component which obviously extends the react component And we're gonna send the properties to from the child to the parent. And here we're gonna define how we're gonna handle the state when the mode when the model is gonna be changed from showing to be hidden. State bit of a typo initial state for the model we're going to be hidden so we're going to put it as false and now we need to define how it's going to be uh, Handled. And we're gonna bind that with the adjective this. This time we're gonna use the we're gonna define the height part. And in order for this bit to work, we need to define what it's doing each one of the function, what should be when it's handled shown or when it's hidden, our model. So we're gonna define handle show 
as having the state too many caps loops of show model being true because we're showing that one in our case here and we can define handle hide we're gonna bind with this and we're gonna define the state as to show model state in certain condition we can use a ternary operator in order to define that what we're gonna use here is gonna be defining how model can be shown let's close that model element as well and we can define inside of it a div Make sure that we have the current indentation here. And inside the div, actually, we don't need it on the different one. We can have the modal text. And we can define a button in, button in order to action it. Let's write that one. Button. And we can have an event handler that's gonna be in our case on click and we're gonna define how that's gonna be handled it's gonna be by our function that we just wrote a bit earlier handle height in case we have the model being shown let's close the button and we can write a free text, hide. We can have returning the state of score. And we're going to define the return statement. Or we can use the same div. We can save the app and we're going to define another button to get out of that state with the event handler as well. Same on click. And this one is going to be the opposite. I'm going to show it in case it's hidden. show model and let's close that button and we just forgot here to put our button closing And here as well.
we're going to need to have the model shown in between here. Let's restructure it a bit to be better seen. Structure of it. Okay, and at the end, let's re declare the React DOM render. And we're gonna render in app. And we're gonna get document get element by ID. And ID being in our case app. For the moment, we don't have anything shown in our preview on the right hand side have even a warning okay let's debug that a bit it's on line 42 43 have model Let's see which one is not expected in our case. Seconds where the technical problem was solved. Let's continue and define the HTML that everything is going to be rendered into it eventually. It's going to be quite an easy part. We don't need to uh, define too much. We just need two containers where we're going to have both of the worlds, so to speak. We're going to have initially a div with the ID of um, app, where we're going to have the initial root of the app, any React app. And because today we're covering model, models created by portals, we're going to define another div, this time with the ID of model. with styling our model with a bit of CSS. We're going to define the model selector with the position of relative and a Z index of 999. We're going to have another rule where exactly the model container is going to be positioned once it's going to be active and fully visible. So model, we're going to target the div. And we're going to have a background color. Let's use RGBA of zero and zero and zero with an opacity of 50%. And we're going to have a position fixed 
we're gonna have it in the middle of the screen with a height of 100% And we did have a hundred percent as well. Okay, short typo there, and a top of zero. Let's try to say that one. Q is to define the left margin left positioning as zero we're gonna display flex and we're gonna align the items to center and justify content as well in center Okay, let's double check that. So we have position fixed, high being 100%, we did the same. Top and left being zero, display being flex, align items with center and justify content as well in center. And we did forgot to include the closing brackets. Let's save that on. Double checking everything, it's correct. Be the end result where we're hitting the initial state being false, the model is not shown. And when we're hitting the button that we define in JavaScript to show model, we're gonna have the state of being shown. And the other way around, when we're hitting the bottom height, the model is going to be hidden and we're coming to the initial state. I hope you enjoyed our, our session of coding for the day. Thank you very much for having me today and I'm gladly uh, seeing you in the future. See ya.